In this tutorial, I want to show you how we can animate in Blender without using keyframes. Instead, we're going to use a frame driver. But first, let's quickly set up the scene. So I have just a sphere and this empty object in here. So let's take the sphere, go to the modifiers and add in a displace modifier. I'm going to create a new texture and let's say this is a cloud texture, maybe make it a bit bigger so we can clearly see the distortions. Then let's go back to the modifier and instead of the local coordinates, I want to use the object coordinates of our empty, which means that I now can take this empty and move it around or rotate it and it will affect the texture of our displacement. We can now use this to turn it into an abstract animation by setting a keyframe, for example, to the set location. Then let's go to the last frame of our animation. Let's move this up a few meters and add another keyframe. And when I now play this, you can see that we have this animated. However, there is also a way to animate this without using keyframes. Let's just quickly delete the two keyframes that I just set. And instead, we're going to use a driver. So let's go back to the set location value and just type in hashtag frame. And now this field has turned purple, which indicates that it has a driver. And when I now move out a bit and play the animation, you can see that the empty moves up really fast. This is because currently the value of the set location is always the value of the current frame. So on frame 22, it is going to be 22 meters high. And on frame 40, it's going to be 40 meters up. This is way too fast for the animation that we are looking for. So let's fix this by clicking in it again and then divide this by, let's say, 50. So now this is a lot slower and the animation looks a lot nicer. This is a huge advantage of using drivers because we can quickly adjust the speed of it simply by dividing the value. And we are also not limited by a frame range as we are with keyframes because I can move out as far as possible and the animation will always continue. Now let's say we want the empty to move down instead of moving up. We can simply go back into the driver and add in a minus before the 40. So now this frame divided by minus 40 and the empty is moving downwards. And we can do this on any value, not just the set location. So for example, we could also bring in a bit of rotation. So I'm just going to go to the X rotation, type in hashtag frame, and let's divide it by 200. So we get a really slow rotation on the X axis, which is going to make our animation a bit more interesting. You can basically add drivers to anything that you can animate in Blender. So for example, we can also make this object grow throughout our animation. So let's just go back to the object properties and for the scale also add in a hashtag frame expression and let's divide it by let's say 150. So it grows just very slow. Then right click, copy this driver and paste it also on the Y and the Z axis. And now this object grows slowly throughout the animation. Now I don't want it to start at zero. So let's just go back into the expression and add plus one. Let's do this on all the axes so that it starts at the scale of one and then slowly grows. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you could learn something new. And if you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I am Nick. See you in the next one. Bye.